Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you for tuning in with Dr. Leisha the Preacher. And today I come with the daily tarot reading. I'm so excited because I'm going to be traveling over the highways um, soon, very soon, with my grandchildren. I'm so excited. I'll definitely take video coverage, of course. <laughs> But hallelujah, hallelujah. I'd like for you to click like. Please click subscribe. And also, um, make leave comments too. Just say hi. Let me know you're there. So I can comment back and say thank you. And things like that. You know, let's communicate. You know, let me know you're there. Okay, so... I always start out my readings with scripture and the last time we read about the serpent having a conversation with the lady um, and so now we're in Genesis chapter 3 Genesis chapter 3 and verse 4 then the serpent said to the woman you will not surely die. Verse 5. For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will open, be opened. And you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Wow conversation with this with Satan I guess it's best to not even engage in conversation but thank you Jesus for your death burial and resurrection hallelujah thank you Lord Jesus for your your existence thank you for saving us from having to try to you know, deal with this on our own. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank you for being our mediator, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So I'm going to go ahead and pull an angel message. We're going to pull it from the top. And it says, Archangel Raphael. Oh, look at that. Archangel Raphael. And it says, Raphael helps you heal in mind, body, and spirit. Heal in mind, body, and spirit. It's nice when there's a balance between all three areas, mind, body, and spirit. When you're nicely balanced. It's a very blessed time very blessed time so how are you guys doing today I pray you are doing well I'm doing pretty good yeah anytime I'm in the mood to travel and I feel good about it and you know the anointings there and you know I, I go for it all right so let me split my deck get set up here bam Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Now I'll just leave it the way it is. Okay. Here we go. On the bottom, bottom, we have the hermit card. The hermit card. The hermit card means that you probably know need to go within you know go within for your answers don't seek the outside world for answers go within for your answers okay and this might be on something specific I don't know but in the meantime you know the fool card has come up the fool 
And with the fool, it just means it might be a good time to confess. You know, go within and confess unto the Lord, you know, your shortcomings. Talk to him. And also, confess your faults to one another. If you've fallen out with your brother or your sister in the Lord, you need to um, confess that. Get that thing straightened out. You know, it's good to pray about it, but you also got to do something about it. In the Six of Swords, we're talking air signs here. This is what still Gemini season, I believe. And it looks like, you know, let me read up on the um, Six of Swords, the Six of Swords card. You know, because it's, it's still connected to the co inner communication. You know, it's, it's still a communication, an air card. You know, and this communication will free you up. It frees you up. And it's uh, a card of protection. You're protected, you know. Meaning that your mind, body, and spirit will stay balanced. Ha ha, yes. You will stay balanced in your mind, body, and spirit as you're going through this period of confession. As you communicate. But let me look up what the Six of Swords says. But it is an air card. Six of Swords. A ferryman carrying passengers in his punt to the further shore. Journey by water, route, away, envoy. Okay. All right. So be prepared to... To communicate in a way that's going to create balance you know and on peaceful water and then the two of wands the two of wands oh two of wands it's definitely a fire sign okay and it looks like He has the world in his hand, in one hand, and he has his wand in the other, his staff. You know, it looks like he has a bright future, but we're talking two, two of wands. So let's, let me look up that card too. Why not? Two of wands. I like this song. This is nice. Two of Wands. A tall man looks from a battlemented roof over sea and shore. He holds a globe in uh, his right hand and a staff in his left rests on the battlement. Another is fixed in a ring. The rose and the cross and the lily should also be noticed on the left side. So the meaning between the alternative readings, there is no marriage possible. No marriage possible? On the one hand, riches, fortune, magnificence. And on the other hand, physical suffering. Okay. So what this is saying is that even though, Even though you may have to leave a situation behind, leave a relationship behind, leave a situation behind, leave uh, an idea behind, you may have to let a business adventure go. You have to let something go, possibly. But in doing so, you are gaining much more. Sometimes we have to let go in order to move forward. But you need to confess and you need to clear the air, clear the air so that you can sail on smoother waters. And with this being a fire sign, you know, this is, is gonna come with some zeal, okay? And then we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is right there 
to back up the two of wands by saying that, well, she believes there's a better opportunity of marriage. This opportunity may have to go, but there may be something in the future. Like this card suggests, you may have to let go of this one situation, this one commitment, this one business adventure, you know, depending on what resonates with you. You may have to let one thing go in order to gain another. A better relationship is on the horizon. Let me pull another card. The King of Pentacles, yes. There's something better. If you're faced with a decision of letting something go, or if you're in the middle of letting something go, there's something better. There's something better. You can trust it. Absolutely something better. And you have the strength you have the strength. You have the strength to go within. You have the strength to go within. You have the strength to confess, to clear the air, to go to the Lord and confess. Go to your brother or your sister and confess. In doing so, you're creating smoother waters and you have the strength. You have the strength to create smoother waters so that you can sail away, sell on to better things. The world is in your hand and you have one staff in your hand. You had to leave the other staff behind. You had to turn your back and you have the strength. You've had the strength. You've had to let it go. But the Queen of Wands says that, and she did come in the reverse, by the way, but the Queen of Wands still is, is saying that there's something better for you, and you have the strength. You have the strength to let go so that something better can come. And the King of Pentacles showed up. To confirm in addition that you will also profit not only just emotionally mentally but you're gonna profit physically in this physical world you're gonna be better off better positioned these are some good cards this is a interesting storyline it must be for a specific you know, group of you out there, a specific group. You know, if this resonates with you, please leave a comment and let me know. My readings are, you know, um, prayed over, uh, saged over. Um, my cards are shuffled well and they're saged. My crystals are, I have this crystal of love in my hand. <laughs> my throat chakra so that I can speak the truth speak with clarity I hope I pull something different I always pull the same cards it seems like to me okay here is the fox card I always have been calling it the wolf card but it's not and there go my four pagan poly friends I call them my poly friends my pagan poly friends. And this is the fox card. It's card number 14. And it's also two, four, six, eight, the nine. The nine of clubs. So yes, this, this ending, this zealous ending that you have no doubt of, it's a divine division. It's divine. The Nine of Clubs indicates that this is an ending 
that the Lord has allowed, has ordained, has initiated. The Lord has his hand in it. You're going to be okay. The other person's going to be okay too because the Lord's hand is in it. But the fox card, let me look up the meaning of the actual card itself. Let's see here. Card number 14. Yes, Lord, I need a word. I need your word. The fox, nine of clubs, creative, cunning, um, okay, opportunities. Okay, creative, cunning, opportunistic. All right. So, you know, you still have the world in your hand and a staff in the other. So despite this ending, you're still in a good position. You're still in a good position. And that's what the Fox card is saying. Be creative. Look forward. Don't look back. Don't look back. Let's pull another. Oh, and then we have the the uh, Queen of uh, Spades. The Queen of Spades comes and says, "Bam!" And she comes with her bouquet of flowers, you know, and look like that. This ending is not going to be a bad one. It's not going to be one with restraining orders and all that stuff involved. No, this is going to be a amicable type separation, okay? It's not going to be as rough as people anticipate. It's not going to be. It's just not. And you both are going to walk away with your heads held high with your dignity. Let me pull a card number nine, because that's my two cents. <laughs> the book may have, the pagan book may have something totally different coming from that card. Let me see, card number nine. <laughs> I get so caught up in the card, you know, in the meaning. The flowers, queen of spades, friendship, romance, gift. Yeah, you're, you're not going to be enemies. You're not going to be enemies. I don't know about friends. You know. I don't know. But you're definitely not going to be enemies. It's going to be a pleasant, there you go, a pleasant ending. Pleasant ending. Pleasant endings. Yes, Lord Jesus. Lord, if something has to end, let it be pleasant. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's end this with the angel message. Time out. That's right. Time out. Time to go within. Remember the her we started off with the hermit. The Hermit card, we started out. Now we're ending with the Time Out card from the angels. And the angel says, Take time for a much needed break and relax. Relax. When things end, that's the time to just take a breather. Take a breather. But be creative because something new is right around the corner. And when something new is right around the corner, guess what? It comes with a whole new set of luggage. <laughs> it's a whole new set of luggage. <laughs> so take some time out now while you have a chance. Take a breather. All right. Thank you for tuning in with Dr. Leisha the Preacher. Bye.